Bentley is such a joy to be around. He's such a positive attitude and he has such a great sense of humor. Um, he's a little trickster, so he's always going to get the last laugh, but he's always a great friend. Um, Bentley's actually one of the members of our Daisy Elementary Buddy Club, and so he makes friends really well and he always wants to make sure that people feel included and that they feel like they're part of our Daisy family. Bentley has what they refer to as Hunter Syndrome, which is the stiffening of your joints. Um, they experience hearing loss um, and just some other physical and cognitive um, things like some stunted growth. Um, and so Bentley, in the face of challenges, he still excels. Um, so he is always a smile on his face, pushing forward um, and just doing what he can um, to be a part Bentley always has that positive attitude um, to get the job done and it's just an absolute pleasure um, to have in class, to, to be a part of our conversations in our school, and to really be a student leader. Bentley is always re respectful, responsible, and ready. He, he's one of those students that you can always depend on to do the right thing. He wants to participate in, in class. He wants to participate in school activities. Um, he never shies back in the face of challenges. And so Bentley is just that person that sets the example for other students, adults, and anyone that walks into our building. Leadership encompasses a lot of different characteristics and Bentley um, is the epitome of that. Um, not only the positive attitude and the sense of humor, um, but the ability to make people feel special. Um, no matter who Bentley is around, um, he makes them feel special and that's what makes him a leader. He goes above and beyond to include other students in activities, to include them in class. Um, if there are you know, students that are doing the wrong thing, he wants to remind them of what it's like to be respectful, responsible, and ready. And so just being a good person um, and very genuine in his character.